excited are you for Mr. FTHS? <laughs> Mr. Shine, what does it take to be Mr. FTHS? What does it take to be Mr. FTHS? I think you have to be a well-rounded person. I think you have to represent the school community. You got to have class. You got to have grace. You got to be able to dance. You got to have a little athletic ability. You need a little something, something. You got to just have what it takes to be Mr. FTHS. Is you got to be a well-rounded person. Oh, I still can't do it. There you go. Oh, yeah. nice. You actually did it good. You actually did it good. Quinn actually did it good. Yeah, Quinn. Quinn's good at it. This is how I prepare for Mr. FTHS. It's so cold! Kendall and Sammy, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? Obviously my escort, Nick Mancini. Obviously my escort, Aaron Rodham. Nah, Jimmy Purcell. Yeah, Jimmy Purcell. <laughs> Justin. Wait, what, what? Justin, what are you doing? I'm just sleeping, I'm waiting for Mr. FTHS. Is it February 11th yet? No. All right, I'm just gonna go back to sleep then. Night. Okay. Mr. Erlinski, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? Oh, I don't think it's going to be a question. It's going to be Chuck Norris. How do I prepare for Mr. FTHS? <coughs> oh, what's up, sir? Oh, T yo, THT, THC. I help others. THT. Have a good one. See you guys at the show. Mr. Cooper, who do you think is going to win Mr. FTHS? It's an easy one. It's got to be one of my football guys. It's either Frank Suglia, the human hamster, it's Arun, Mike Donahoe, Jimmy Purcell, or my boy, Tommy Benedict, one of those guys. And leave out that leg, you pull it in. Woo! 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 I got that. I got that. And after that, you like looking at your leg, and then you go, like, look up. Like, oh, okay. What's going on? This is how we prepare for Mr. FTS. It's a little cold, no days off. Practice every day. We gotta get it done, you know? We gotta do what we gotta do. It's a little cold. I'm cold. Let's get it done, all right? This is what we do. Proceeds worldwide. The team, number one in the nation. And here we go. Oh! Oh! I didn't even have to use my head. My hood went on. Just from the momentum. Pretty, it's a little good. cold. No day off. Okay. It's okay. Okay, we're hey, okay. All right, now we go to acapella. Ball is life. Do 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 do. Ow! <laughs> Look at Tinkerbell, sorry. Everybody. You're not robbing me, are you? What's up, Tom? Yeah, we are. Not yet. Not yet. Ha! Mr. Giblin. Yeah, oh, hi. I know you're here. What does it take to be Mr. FTHS? What does it take? Uh, it takes brains, it takes talent, but it's, it's really, it's about the look. And there's a couple ways you can go with that. Like, there's, there's this one. There's also this. What do you think? Huh? Huh? And, all right, I got the best one. Cause only a real man can wear pink. <laughs> I got this one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what she's doing, so I'm just gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing. What does it take to be Mr. FTHS? I, I think Mr. FTHS needs to have uh, charisma. He has to play to the audience, um, and he has to be full of school spirit and and stand for um, or represent what our school stands for. How do you prepare for Mr. FDHS? Um, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Mr.
Mr. Golub, what do you think your son Justin's chances are for winning Mr. FTHS? Well, since Justin is adopted, he has none of my traits, which will give him a very good opportunity to win Mr. FTHS because I know I'd have no shot. Oh, hey, Tom. How do you prepare for Mr. FTHS? Prepare? We had to prepare for this thing? I've been on the stage since I was told I am in this event. I'm going to be here until February 11th, the night of Mr. FTHS. I was born for something like this. Mr. Leahy, what does it take to be Mr. FTHS? Well, I've uh, thought about this for a number of years. Um, I've actually applied to be Mr. FTHS um, a number of years. Um, my application somehow probably, I guess, got lost in the mail, uh, even though I hand-delivered it to Ms. Marola um, every single year, stamped with the date, um, but, you know, it, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I think to, to be Mr. FTHS, you need to be charismatic, um, and you need to love your mom. Um, and that's really what, you know, life comes down to, charisma and loving your mom. Quinn, how do you prepare for Mr. FTHS? Well, gotta start with the cardio. It's a long walk across the stage, can't be passing out like that. How do you guys prepare for Mr. FTHS? I'm doing some curls for the girls. I'm doing some buds for the guys. And I squat. Of course, you gotta get the chest for the girls. Back. Mr. Brusati, what does it take to be Mr. FTHS? Well, it's very convenient that you would ask me that today. That's what we're learning in class. What makes Mr. FTHS? Here's a list of things. First of all, you need to be authoritarian. You need to be able to put your foot down and say, this is how it is. Secondly, nationalism. You have to have extreme pride in Freehold Township High School. Thirdly, expansion. Freehold Regional High School District? Give me a break. How about Freehold Township High School District? I think that makes more sense. Lastly, totalitarian government. We need somebody who's going to rule this place with an iron fist. As for who's going to win Mr. FTHS, that's pretty simple. <laughs> that guy. <laughs>